Great selection down here at the gingerbread shop. Yes, I believe that I am interested in purchasing a- Oh. Oh, hello. Well, this is awkward. I didn't realize that the bakery employee would also be a gingerbread person. Unexpected. My friends and I came to the bakery looking for cookies, but now we have concerns. We have a hunch that something is not quite right in this bakery, so might just go behind the counter. Might just have a look in this staff-only area. Time to find out how the sausage gets made. Now, if you see anything that looks suspicious, make sure to let me know in the comment section. For example, I thought I might have seen something on the floor behind the counter there that looked a bit sus, but I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. Let's just see what is happening here in the cookie factory. In all likelihood, it's a perfectly innocent cookie-making operation, and I am just breaking into the place. I am just busting into the back room, demanding to look around. They certainly have a lot of space. Like, what is the point of this room? Like, oh yeah, that's where we keep our giant candy canes on the floor. Ooh, this looks cool and what the- Help, help me please. Uh, Buds, I think there might be a guest drowning in the strawberry icing. We need to help them. How are we supposed to get down there? Oh no, look at this rickety bridge made out of wafer cookies. That is almost definitely how they ended up in the icing. They probably fell through one of the holes in this bridge. We need to figure out a safe way to rescue them. We don't want to also fall into the strawberry icing and drown. That would be awful. And statistically, that is a risk when you're trying to rescue someone from drowning. They might accidentally drown you Ooh. in the strawberry icing. <gasps> oh no, my friend! Buds, I have a bad feeling about this place. I need to figure out what's happening in the next room. Choose wisely with a winky face. Why do I feel like the sign is Ooh. mocking me? Hmm, is it like a doorway? Am I going to pass through this wall? Gotta Ooh. choose wisely. Oh no, my friend just disintegrated. I love how I'm trying to choose wisely, but I'm actually just slamming my face into a brick wall. Are we supposed to climb Ooh. or... Uh. Okay, so the choose wisely thing is making more sense. How am I supposed to choose wisely? I have no information. Oh, uh. actually the information is that my friend managed to get up this one, so that's good. Uh-oh, someone spilled their hot chocolate. I mean, drink up, I guess. I mean, it is piping hot, so it probably just spilled. Maybe they're abiding by the five second rule. I want to know what you think, though. Let me know in the comment section if you believe in the five second rule and why or why not. And while you do that, I will continue my investigation of the gingerbread factory. What is happening in this room? Oh, a sign that says danger chocolate lagoon. Oh, there I was thinking that it was just like a hot chocolate spill, but apparently it's a lagoon. I didn't realize that we were in a place of lagoon. Fortunately, I have Ray here and they are helping me navigate the bridges needed to cross the chocolate lagoon. So far, my suspicions seem to be unfounded. Like I am looking around this place, I am searching for clues, but I haven't seen anything yet to suggest that there's anything fishy going on here, except for, of course, the guest who was drowning in the strawberry icing. We should probably go back and help them at some point. But give this video a thumbs up if you think I should keep looking. I don't know, I just thought there was something a little bit suspicious about the giant gingerbread person selling the gingerbread cookies. Something about them just gave me the heebie-jeebies. How are we supposed to get out of this maze of waffle cone? Like, it smells very good, but I still need to- Oh my gosh, a guest! Help. Please help. Don't worry, I'm coming- Uh-oh. Um, what's happening in here? We've reached the heart of the factory, we're in the test kitchen. What kind of cookies do we think the giant gingerbread man is making? They might be poison cookies. My foot barely grazed this chocolate chip cookie dough, and I perished immediately. Like, I know people say you're not supposed to eat raw cookie dough because of, like, the raw flour and the raw eggs look like these eggs that have been dropped on the counter here. But I don't know, I just thought that raw cookie dough would give you, like, a stomach ache or something. I didn't think that you would immediately meet your end. It's suspicious, frankly. I need to figure Ooh. out more about these cookies. Just seeing if the crew's still with me. Looks like I still got one bud who's along for the ride. All right, come on, let's go up this rope. I'm gonna find out what you're doing, gingerbread man. I'm gonna find out the truth about your cookies. What kind of cookies do we hope he's making? I'm like, best case scenario, he's making chocolate cookies with peanut butter chips, and worst case scenario, he's making cookies out of people. Did I just end up in the freezer? I didn't bring my jacket. I have bare little arms. We gotta get out of here before we freeze. This is not good. Ray is wearing shorts. Somebody has left whole ice cream cones just upside down in the freezer. Oh my gosh, and it's so slippery, and there's frozen guests! Oh my gosh, no! Guests are not faring well in the cookie factory. I'm like, what have we seen so far? We saw like a guest who was drowning in strawberry ice cream. There's heaps of guests that are trapped in ice. I don't understand what's going on. Are the guests employees at the cookie factory and they're being mistreated? Is the giant gingerbread person the Mr. Boss Man who doesn't care about the welfare of his employees? 
Serious questions being raised about occupational health and safety. First things first, though, we gotta get out of this freezer before Ray and I get hypothermia. No time to eat the delicious-looking ice cream sandwiches. I believe that the guests in this factory are being mistreated. I want to get to the bottom of this, and I also want to help them, but I can't do that if I am trapped in this vent. Oh, I think we found our way out of the freezer. But we're back in the kitchen. We have to be very, very careful. I don't want that gingerbread man to know that we're here. We need to be very quiet as we jump on the levitating ice cubes. Phew, what's the green stuff on those plates? I have some questions about the hygiene practices here in the test kitchen. Just as a general rule, the plates should not have mold on them. Okay, so I'm worried about what's happening to that guest. Ray, I think we need to go have a closer look. But how are we supposed to get over there without attracting the attention of that giant and potentially psychotic gingerbread person? We need to exercise extreme caution. Don't touch any of the ingredients. They could be poisonous. And let's also try to not burn our feet by standing on a hot element. This is an extreme situation. I generally don't recommend running on top of a stove. Ooh. What? How did that happen? I don't understand. That was weird. Okay, let's try that again. I swear I didn't touch anything hot, but if you saw me do it, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I need to go this way? Okay, it's time to go up the broom. Into that dark closet? What? Where are we going? What about the guest? I'm concerned. He looks so scared. He looks like he's about to be the secret ingredient in the latest batch of cookies. The face says help. But perhaps help will be coming from inside this closet. Oh, no, I need to climb up the climb up the broom handle. Ray, I'm coming. I'm so sorry. I suggest we go into the darkness of the closet and have a bit of a regroup. Think about what we know, why we're here, what is happening. It might be time for secrets revealed, time for horrors. Oh, yeah, there's some horrors. So the guests look trapped. They look scared. They're yelling. They're horrified. What's happening on the conveyor belt? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is worse than I could have imagined. <gasps> it's you! I knew it was you. I have never seen a cookie look more evil while operating heavy machinery. <laughs> My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Hey, did that guy just eat me? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. That looks like an epiglottis. Oh no, he's been eating all sorts of stuff. Is this like revenge of the gingerbread man? He's like, you have eaten me and my kind for too long. Now I will turn you into cookies and see how you like it. And it turns out I don't like it. Like, I don't need my gingerbread to be in the shape of a man. I would just as happily eat a gingerbread squirrel. And also, I kind of think you're a bit of a hypocrite because, like, look, you're eating gummy bears. Do you think the bears like that? I don't actually know what the bears want. I don't know if the bears are actually thinking that much about gummy bears. Oh, my gosh. They ate a whole candy cane and a whole guest without chewing, and an ice cream cone. So among the other things that we've learned about this gingerbread man, he needs to learn to chew. He's really just out there swallowing his food whole. Maybe he doesn't have teeth. Although I think teeth are just essentially bones, and he does have bones, which is already surprising. He is a gingerbread man, after all. But that's not even the most surprising thing I've seen today, frankly. Oh, okay. In addition to having bones, the gingerbread man appears to have a large intestine. And possibly constipation. My dude needs Metamucil or prune juice or something to get the system moving. I don't want to be critical, I don't want to body shame, but this is a lot of turds. Too many turds. Ugh. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. Are we on the edge of the toilet? Jump in, you've got to be kidding me. <gasps> okay, so he's got teeth and he wants me to jump in the bowl. Really have a lot of choices and there's no toilet paper. This is starting to look like the only way out. Okay, hold your breath. Ew, ew, I'm so scared. Oh no, this is disgusting. Oh gosh, that's toilet paper. Where does it end? I mean, I guess we're probably going to the sewage treatment plant and frankly, I would like to get treated. Oh no. I don't know what happens at the sewage treatment plant, but I don't know if any amount of treatment will be enough. I don't know if I will ever be clean again. Obviously, I will be shaving my head and burning my clothes after I get out of here. I wonder if the sewage treatment plant can wipe my memories, cleanse my brain of this ever happening, or like trick my brain into thinking it was a dream. Like, oh yeah, I had this crazy dream. I was like swimming through a, a sewage pipe and there were turds everywhere. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. That would never happen in real life. Is this the end? Ray, we made it. We're in the sewers. Thank goodness. I thought we were going to be dodging turds forever. Finally, we got a speed run. What's with the drum of toxic waste? I thought we were just in the sewers. I thought we were just heading to the sewage treatment plant. I didn't realize there would be any radioactive sludge. 
Although, if the radioactive sludge cleanses my memory, then just cover me in radioactive sludge because I have had enough. Actually, just kidding, I found a ladder. Come on, Ray, let's go wipe our memories. Oh, actually, before we wipe our memories, we should probably tell somebody about the special ingredient in the cookies. That seems like pressing information. Oh, we made it outside. Quite a lot of strawberry jam seeping out from under the staff room door, but that's probably nothing to worry about. I'll just follow the trail of cookies and try to forget.